Hey guys, Mark from Gunpla Network, and today I'm bringing you a bit of a, you know, just a little high grade review. Gundam Aerial Rebuild from the Witch from Mercury series. Now, I didn't get this from Rypla. I actually bought this from Rypla. So just to clarify on that one and a uh, bit of a strange one. My son wanted a kit and I bought it for him because I thought it'd be a good one, you know, kind of new high grade. And then he, he started and said, too hard for me. So <laughs> you have to work on that. But yeah, I ended up finishing it and here's my review. Now, here you go, you can just see the kit spin on its own. Um, overall, I like the clear parts. Some stickers under the clear is okay. Uh, but yeah, like I, I wouldn't use all of them and I haven't. So here's all the accessories that you do get with the base aerial rebuild kit here. First up is the beam rifle. Now, I think there's about two or three different configurations. This is the long barrel form, which I do prefer. Unfortunately, I think like it's been said, it kind of looks like a build fighter's reject or a build diver's leftover. Uh, it could do with some more detail. Um, it's got hard points that I don't think anything goes into unless they had future plans for this kit. Uh, I haven't seen The Witch from Mercury. I've seen like four episodes, I think. It wasn't my cup of tea. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Maybe there's future plans. Uh, there is the shield. Uh, again, like there's some hard points and stuff on it. Overall, I don't mind the look of the shield. What I don't like is the gray parts that go together here um, because they look like they come apart. And I mean, they do actually come apart. With the, the Witch from Mercury stuff, um, it kind of all comes apart and becomes shield bits or gun bits or whatever. So, And you can pose it as such. It shows you that in the guide if you have the action base for it. Beam sabers, I do like these. They're kind of like Gundam Age beam sabers. They're square and flat looking. Um, I do like, and I like the blue. The blue looks great. Usually we've either got green or red or pink. And um, yeah, it's just something different. It looks good. Overall though, pretty simple. The backpack. So the difference between the aerial and aerial rebuild, I don't have the base aerial kit. But uh, there was a few differences around coloring, shoulders, um, I think waist or legs a little bit. But the backpack was the main difference because this is now a flight type backpack, which the aerial didn't really have at the start. So as far as I understand. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Um, those yellow bits rotate around to open up and some kind of fin on the backpack. I'm not sure what they do. I haven't gotten that far in the series yet. You can probably tell me in the comments if you like. But overall, it's a good backpack. It just clips straight on. And here you go. You can see it with the yellow bits opened up. It's got the shorter um, rifle on it. Uh, the bottom hand grip bit does open up. You'll see in a sec and the back cover slides off and you can change bits for the two handed version. Uh, overall though, uh, not bad. I mean, I don't like that middle crotch as we said up underneath, but look, it's a high grade. It's not too heavy. It'll, it'll hang there on its base like it's supposed to. All right, articulation. So, um, there's those, they're stickers inside the clear parts there. All those yellow parts are all separated, they go in. Uh, there's a sticker on the eyes, I opted for the red one. Uh, and overall, I mean, look, cut back the V fin a bit where you got the safety nubs on it, uh, sharpen those up and give it a paint job. I'm sure this thing looks great and it did have undergating as well. I just, there's a couple of nubs I've got to fix up before I paint this. Uh, shoulders go all the way up, like that's pretty good articulation there. Uh, you can actually like rotate them forward a bit as well there. It's hard to see, but yeah, that, that comes all the way out. So you can get a good amount of movement. You can definitely two-handed hold the beam rifle, swing the beam saber. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, arm goes all the way around. It's got a good bend in the elbow. Uh, waist comes actually comes a surprising amount of the way up. Um, and that's because like, there's a really like a long waist section inside the chest piece that you can extend up and show. Sorry, I might just lighten that up a bit there. Um, yeah, and that that's really cool. The backpack, uh, like I said, those yellow bits close and open. Uh, they move, rotate, they rotate around. So you can get a good amount of movement out of the top parts. The bottom parts um, are just on a ball joint. The beam sabers are just pegged on. They're nothing special there. Um, so yeah, you can't do a whole lot with that, but they do go up and down. So there's a good amount of like backpack movement to, to go on there. 
Uh, front skirts do go up. Um, the legs rotate on the... They're just on a big ball joint. Um, they are articulated, and uh, I, I think they kind of almost remind me of IBO legs, really, like the Iron Blooded Orphans type stuff. Uh, oops, there goes the side skirt. That just clicks on. Good amount of bend in the knee. I mean, look, no uh, foot rotating angle. There's no like armor movement or anything like the real grades, um, but that, you know, look, it's high grade, and this was $38 Australian. So under $40 um, and it's a pretty decent kit. Like I said, if you want to paint, this thing's pretty good. Like there's no real bad nubs or anything. Just, you know, quick sand over and you're good to go. Can do pretty much the splits. We'll go all the way back. So yeah, this thing's like hyper articulated. All right, let's continue that because I couldn't get it to stand there. Uh, yeah, you can actually get it to like full on kneel down, um, like it's sliding towards an enemy with beam saber out or something. All right, here it is. Now, if you modify, you can take off side pieces, open up the bottom, pull back the back cover on the back butt of the gun, put on the two pieces, which allow for you to two handed hold mode, like kind of like a mega beam launcher or something, I guess. All right, comparisons, uh, I just grabbed out a few. So you've got the high grade Zaku 1 which I thought was a pretty decent kit. All right, you've got it with the real grade Exia Trans Am version, which was a P Bandai. And with the master grade Jagan, which kind of has a similar loadout with a rifle and a shield and a backpack. So here it is with the beam saber and the shield out in a flying pose. I mean, like I said, this thing's so articulated. You can do this on the ground, it won't fall over. You can do it on the action base, all good. And that's it, guys. Um, so far, this is my first witch from Mercury. I do like the Caliban, Caliburn, Caliban. I do want to get that eventually. So um, I'll probably paint this one up and I'll, I'll find one. But definitely, definitely good, these witch from Mercury kits for my first foray into it. So yeah, definitely grab yourself one and uh, have a crack. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next review. Bye-bye for now. Keep building.